workman, feed the whistle. The whistle is clearly wonky. But Thomas was too excited to wait. I'm sure my whistle isn't wonky. I must race to Farmer McCall's. Thomas! But your whistle is... Wonky! Wait, Thomas! He blew his wonky whistle loud and long. Kevin was surprised. Even hooks! What was that? But Thomas was pleased. Everyone will hear about the country show now. And Thomas chuffed cheerfully away to Farmer McCall's farm to collect the animals. There were ducks for a duck race, Katie the sheepdog, and Farmer McCall's prize cow. Thomas huffed happily. I must hurry. I must go. Quickly to the country show. Thomas steamed Thomas? swiftly Thomas? away before the farm workers had closed the trailer properly. But Thomas didn't know that. To be honest dudes, this episode has too many issues that were thankfully fixed later on in very important sheep. First off, as usual, the dialogue isn't even actual dialogue at all. It's either rhymes on a dime, as if they treat the show like it's a Dr. Seuss production, or just the same lines copied and pasted over and over again. Second, Thomas nearly causes a massive injury at this steamworks due to his impatientness, proving that his dumb moments have gone way too far. Possibly worse than how I was portrayed in Wall Buddy. Third, the animals are being placed in a stupid salt wagon instead of their own individual cattle wagons. And fourth, Thomas never hears the sound of his own whistle sounding different than usual, and if the whistle is wonky, it's supposed to sound like this. At the station, everyone held their ears. The fat controller held his ears too. Take him away, he bellowed, and stop that noise! Not this. Thomas wished his wonky whistle loud and long. Thomas! Thomas saw Farmer McCall shout and wave. Thomas! Thomas!